hi guys welcome to my channel if you are new here i invite you to click that like and subscribe button and if you are a seasoned follower welcome back so today i am going to get set up for my july budget i am using my happy planner budget planner so girls just want to have funds play on the words here and I'll be using my Happy Planner budget sticker books. All right, and again, this is just a setup, a complete setup just for the month. So first I wanna do my, let's see. It's gonna be July, so I have and these are just some stickers at the top that I made. And then underneath are some stickers from the Happy Planner Budget Book. That fell down before I wanted to. It was almost like it was a magnet. Good grief. Come on, all right. I guess the unexpected spins will come at the end of the month. And uh, what are my financial goals for the month? My financial goals are to to pay my bills on time. And, um, yes. Money and savings. Let's see. I don't know. I may have to come back to that. So over here, I'm just going to make a list of the bills that I actually pay. And then I have, these are actually bill bills, but then I have some other expenses. And they'll go on the 
to sheets. Um, so I was like, well, I guess I used most of them. But it only gave like one sheet of inspiration, I guess. Yeah, it looks like it only gave me. Okay, so I can do. Okay, make things happen. For the month, and then I had now it's a new later. just to have something on there. All right, so these are bill bills, bills that actually come to the house. Well, I don't do too much paper stuff because I don't check the mail. Um, and then, so for July, my future is bright. Let's get a July sticker. And they give you two in the sticker pack, but honestly, I don't ever look at it from the back, so I'm saving those. The second one. I need it for something else. All right, so let's see. Now I wrote some things on here so that I wouldn't forget, but then I decided to write them all out on the sheet. So where is my whiteout? I can write these out. And then I'll be able to use a sticker. So the month starts on a Wednesday. So Wednesday will be the first. that have a home on it. Looks like I use quite a bit. Oh, here we go. So for the first, I have mortgage, and then I also have tier craft. And tier craft is a loan. I don't know if they have a If not, I can just use a blank one because it's not a credit card. credit card because it, it is not a credit card. Alright, and an ink pen. So this is Tia Craft. And that bill is I'm just rounding it off. My mortgage is I pay more than what the mortgage is, so I'm going to actually put the number that I am paying because every little bit of extra counts. All right, so that is for that. All right, so for the second, now I do have my own stickers for some of these because... They didn't have one like for Netflix. I have popcorn because most people eat popcorn when they go to the movies. So how many do I have for the second? I have the telephone bill, the cell phone bill, 
and I have Netflix. And that one is the sticker that I made, the popcorn one. All right, so I'm going to put a V in here for Verizon. And that bill is 70, we're going to round it up, 76. And my Netflix is $14. I think that's with the tax. And then my cell phone that I split with my son, my portion is 155 I pay most of it because he is or was a college student so I made him responsible for some of the bill and I should probably increase his portion since he is not in school all right so let's see the tea craft Wells Fargo they say iTunes do I have a music one And that'll be on the 8th. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4. Sunday is the 5th. 5, 6, 7, 8. And I have to go find my little dots so that I can um, put my dates on them. And this one is for storage, which is $2.99. And then two days later is the PGW, which is the gas fee. I wish they put like all these stickers in the same spot. That's rainy day. It has like a little flame. I saw it. Here we go. Is that the only one on that day? Yep. $329, which has come down. I'm glad now the electric bill is about to go up. Sheesh. All right, so that's the 10th, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Seems like all of my bills are due on this side of the calendar. I don't know why that is. So I have a, another, I actually could have used this TV one for Netflix. Maybe next month. Oh, well. All right. So, I'm do that again. So, that is the 8th. And under the 8th is the 15th. And so, for the 15th, I have Apple Music, credit cards, and two credit cards. Okay. So, Apple Music and two credit cards. As for the 15th, since I don't have a car, I can use these for public transportation, actually. I'll take a bus, so transportation is transportation, so I can use those. And that will go on, because I don't, I work in Center City, and it costs too much to drive down here. Now, it's not a bill that actually goes like paper comes to me, but it's something that I do consistently for payday. All right, so that'll be the card and I'll recognize it when I see that amount that I know what that is. All right, 
so the water bill is due on the 27th which is a monday oh finally i have a bill due on this side uh, it's a calendar So the water bill is actually $65.35. And I don't know my electric bill because when I went on, it said zero. And I'm off for zero, yay. So now we have some extra stuff that I could just jot down, which is I can finally use this sticker taxes too. Even though it's due on the Wednesday. And I'm, I can't believe my taxes aren't done. Working on it. What was I looking for? Oh, payday stickers. <laughs> stickers somewhere. And since my Thursdays are, these stickers are huge. I don't think I ever realized that these stickers were this big. All right, so those are payday stickers. I don't know if I'm gonna use that. I guess that's like a review of everything. I don't know. But I put it there for the decoration. Like I have nothing going on here. That is a good, must be a good week. All right, so I laid those down. So I'm going to start, oh, and then I have three paychecks, so. And I guess I could do groceries, but I like to put my tithes first, because I am a tithe payer, and I still pay tithes to my church, even though church is online and we're not in the physical building. But I do believe in supporting our church as we definitely, um, we still have a lot going on. So generally, this would be um, where I would post what I spent. I feel like this month is missing something. This would be like my daily spending. I feel like oh yeah I am ah this is missing from behind the or did I just not open it I just didn't open it okay <laughs> not it I'm going to use that other sticker. I 
Okay, that's for the month of July. And then I can put paycheck one, two, and three. I'll put all my incomes, what my expenses were, and if there was anything remaining. I think I'll use this as date paid. I'll do this again by um, how they're due. I'll put the name of the bill. I don't really know if I'm going to use this. Use this column for categories. I already know what it is. So I may create a sticker that says um, amount due. And then that'll be amount paid. And then that'll be the date that I actually pay it. So I'm actually going to have to create recreate stickers. So that'll be the amount due. That'll be the amount that I actually paid. And that'll be the date that I paid it. So let's just get started with writing out the bill again.
And then I could just document, document what my ties were. But I'm not. So I'll be coming back to that. Then I'll put my income here. And at the end of the month, so I have to come back to review. My savings tracker. All right. So I use the Digit app to do my savings. I do do a, um, with the bank that I bank at, I do have a, um, the option to have different savings accounts. So I will just list them. So at the end of the month, I'll just post what my balances are. And I'm actually almost at my um, my limit on my business. I was specifically wanting to purchase um, an item or a tool. And then I'm almost there. All right, so my accounts and my debts. I no longer have GM Financial or Victoria's Secrets because these guys are paid in full. So I have Capital One. And so what I consider is just like my loans and my credit cards. So I will put, and I need to change my labels because this is what I owe now. And then at the end, no, I'm going to actually put how much I paid on it here. And then I'll put my balance there. So when I actually make my payment, because I probably will pay more than $35, I'll put it there. And then at the end of the month, I'll put what these balances are here. Yeah, so over here, what I could record, there are some business transactions. Like if I purchase anything for business, I will probably put it here. And then I'll identify what I spend during the week and how I did. And since that didn't get here yet, we can't fill that out. So that is what I have so far. And then I have these. I was watching another YouTuber who does um also does budget planning. And her YouTube page is entitled The Pink Cloth Life. And I like how she does um some of her planning. And so she mentioned these in one of her videos. These are some sheets from debtfreecharts.com where you can put like if you have a goal, what your goal is, and then you can do a map all the way up to your goal. Now, before you guys saw that I did, I have, um, what do I have? I have the emergency savings. I have the, um, sorry, I have the mason jars. <laughs> so I have the mason jars for my, um, Do my savings, but I thought those were super cute. So I'm probably gonna cut these down and put them in here. So I had, well, I paid off my car loan, so I, I'm just gonna color this whole thing in because I just want to make it note when I, um, and I'll put the date that I made the last one. 
I'll make a couple copies of this because I paid off Victoria's Secrets and then I have two more. And then you put like what each block is worth. So if you want to put like 10, 20, 30, 40, or whatever. And then this is just a regular debt free one. So I like these. These are super cute. So, and you can color them in. So I will probably cut these down. You may see them the next time I do a budget video. Um, you'll probably see that maybe at the recap of the month. I don't know. But don't be surprised if you see these in there, guys. All right, so that is all that I have for my setup. I have all the bills when they're due, my savings, all my debt, mapped out my month, my paydays, when I do food. And so now all I have to do is wait for July and then I'll start getting busy. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. If you like this video and wanna see more videos like this, make sure you leave me a comment down below in the description bar. If you have any questions, make sure you leave your questions down there. I'll be glad to answer them. Don't forget to click that like and subscribe button down below to be the first to know when there's a new video posted to this channel. And until next time, see ya.